Let me ask you a question. How much can $150 get you? Is this a pair of earbuds? Or is this a dinner in a nice restaurant? Or is this a very comfortable massage? Do you know that $150 can pay for a full year tuition for a kid in China? Do you know that this $150 can also pay for a family who never had internet access for a few months? Today, I'm going to show you how to make a bigger impact using $150. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee from DrNancyLee.com. I help people transition from worker bee to product manager and business leader. Today, we only talk about how can we make a bigger impact and be happier. If you like this video and believe in the mission I'm trying to achieve, please like and share this video and make sure to subscribe so that you'll be notified every time when I post a new video every Wednesday. For most of you guys watching this video right now, you're probably is already in the tech industry or trying to join the tech industry. $150 may not be a lot of money for you, but it can make a huge impact. Do you know that in the Boston area, about 20% of the families do not have computers at home. About 16% of the families do not have internet access. Can you imagine that? No internet access during COVID. How can you even function during COVID? You cannot even watch YouTube right now. But there are people out there who are underserved communities wasn't able to get this fundamental easy access to education to internet. I believe in education because education is the biggest equalizer. But why I deeply care about those kids? Because I was one of them. I came to the US with $800 in my pocket and I've never been to a vacation until age of 20. This is the first time sharing with anybody. To be honest, it is a little bit embarrassing to tell people that you were poor because my family always focus on two things. They focus on putting food on the table and also focus on education. They're like, vacation is some rich people would do. No, we, we save the money for something more important than that. Therefore, I never had vacation until age of 20. And for a little while, I was very ashamed, afraid to tell others and just to face myself. But I realized that I cannot change my past. I should focus on my future. And gradually, I start to embrace who I am. Actually, right now, I'm very proud of who I am. I was lucky. I was able to make a transformation through education. But do you know that there's so many little Nancy's and out there who didn't get access to American education, who didn't know they can actually apply for scholarship to the US. So I really want to help them out because I was one of them. To be honest, I don't think I deserve talking to you guys right now because I was those one of kids. Never can imagine I have a YouTube channel helping people out and teaching people how to become a leader in America. But my long-term goal is really to help more kids who are in the underserved community to bring education to them, especially the entrepreneurship. So let me tell you what the $150 can do. There is a real person, a boy, 14 years old, living in Jiangxi province in China, which is the same province I came from, and her family income for the entire year was only 1,000 US dollars. His mom was sick, and his dad made the living by collecting recycling bottles. The tuition of him going to schools in China is only $150. And to be honest, most tuitions are free. You just need to pay for books and do those pay some like uh, fees in the schools. Given her family only makes $1,000 per year, it's really hard to even send the kid to school. Then recently, I discovered this nonprofit organization called OCEF, who is helping kids like that and give them donations to help them go back to school. And they also send the grades from the kids and also get in touch with the teachers. And I was very great to find out that within a year and this kids was the top five students in the class. Education is an equalizer. Let me also tell you another story. And this specific person lives in Boston, Massachusetts. Her name is Edith. She doesn't speak English at all. She speaks Spanish. And you can see this actually in the video. Hola, los saludamos. Eh, mi nombre es Gisette. Eh, and herself actually never had the computer education, didn't know how to really use computers, not mentioned to build a website. And there is a nonprofit organization in Boston called Tech Goes Home. They bring internet access and computers and the trainings about technology to ETHES. And by now, when we film this video, ETHES already launched a blog with showing her virtual craft business. So basically, she has lots of hand makes up. She was able to host it on a website, on a blog, and have people to pay it. And on top of that, her kids was able to use those computers and internet access to do remote learning. And he said that, he loves learning math through the computers. I'm so proud of him. Do you know that there's so many kids like this? 
that need help, those are our next generation. That's the reason I decided to do the one-on-one -on -one matching fundraising campaign for those nonprofit for free. I personally have working and supporting and donating my own money to those nonprofits in the past few years. And I know their mission. I also know the founders and the executive directors for the top three organizations I'm supporting. So I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one matching. What it stands for is any dollar you donate, I'm going to match $1 as well, up to $10,000. And I'm also going to add more personal money to it as well. I know you might be thinking, oh, I don't trust them. I think the biggest fear for lots of us, especially Chinese or immigrant, you might be thinking, oh, what if they waste our money or it's a fraud? And to be honest, because this is a big concern for myself as well. And that's why I have uh, met the founders and those executive directors for those nonprofit organizations. And on top of that, myself had volunteered in those nonprofit organizations. So I know they are doing a great job and they're not going to throw our money away and into some fraud as well. So I will personally hold them accountable and watch their result by spending our money and helping those people. And on the other hand, you might be also thinking, I'm not rich, why am I donating? I will wait until I make lots of money. But do you know that you don't need to be rich to make an impact? $10, $20 is good enough. I know people out there who say, well, once I make $1 million, $10 million, I will donate. Believe me, once they hit $1 million, $10 million, they still do not donate. The reason is they have a different belief system than us. You don't need to wait until you're rich to make a big impact. I personally believe that the secret to happiness is to give and serve a purpose bigger than ourselves. That's also the reason you guys ask me all the time, Nancy, why you have time to make YouTube videos, you have a full-time job, you're also teaching people how to become a product manager. How do you have so much energy? Don't you feel burned out? I don't because I'm serving a purpose bigger than ourselves. This gave me so much happiness and so much energy. That's why I encourage you to do this as well. Now, let me share with you what are the top three nonprofit organizations I support and I have met before. The number one organization is Tech Goes Home and they bring technology to underserved communities and teach them how to use computer and bring Wi-Fi and bring computers to them. The second is called eSchool for Girls and this is totally speaking to my heart and they teach teenager girls from underserved communities entrepreneurship. They represent the future of our nation. Entrepreneurship. The next CEO, I'm so proud of them. And the third nonprofit I support is called Boston Glow. Glow stands for Girls Leadership and Organized Women. They teach teenager girls how to become a future leader. So those are the three nonprofit organizations I support. If you donate any money to them, make sure you mention my name in the no session and those nonprofit organizations are going to collect all the donations together and I'm going to match your donation on one-on-one -on -one matching as well. On top of that, donate more my own money as well. And there is a bonus nonprofit called OCEF, which is the one supporting the boy I told you earlier. And they recently brought it to my attention because some of my friends started recommending them to me. So myself is going to do some donation to that organization as well to start to validate are they fraud, are they real? Are they really making a big impact or not? So I'm going to keep you guys posted in 2021. On top of that, if you know any nonprofit you think they need my support, please let me know because I'm going to make any free video for any nonprofit to help them to achieve their mission as well. My final words for you is that there's no small donation. There's only a bigger impact. You never know how much this $150 can make an impact on a person's life. Okay, I wish all of you a fantastic 2021. I'm going to see you soon. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. Feel free to check out other videos I produce for you. We produce lots of great content in December. And make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm going to see you soon. Bye.